I want to show you three standard workflows in Dynamics 365 Business Central that you can use in sales operations. We're going to take a look at these three right here. We're going to look at changing customer credit limits, sales credit memos, and sales return orders. Each one's going to have a slightly different approval process. So let's get started. The first one is the customer credit limit change workflow. We're going to change the credit limit on the customer card and then have that go through a workflow process. The workflow is going to be approved by the admin person, who is Jacob Trustman. So let's get started. I'm logged in as Alan here, and I'm going to change the credit limit on this particular customer. So let's go ahead and just change that. As soon as I tab off that, Business Central automatically creates a new approval process. Let's take a look at it. I'm now logged in as the admin person, and we can see that he's got a number of approvals. Here's the approval here to change the credit limit. I could open this record up if I want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and approve it, and I'm done. Let's take a look at this workflow. These are all my workflows. Here's a customer credit limit change. Let's take a look at that. And this workflow is going to be activated as soon as that credit limit is changed on the customer card. And we can look at the approval process that will be used. If we click on this, we'll go down here, and we can see that the approver is going to be a specific approver. In this case, it's the admin person. So this is just one of the many ways that you can use approvals in workflows. The next workflow I want to look at is for sales credit memos. David's going to enter a credit memo, and it's going to be routed to Alicia for approval. So let's take a look at it. I'm logged in as David here, and I'm going to create a new sales credit memo. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the customer. I'm going to change this to a GL account and look up a sales discount account. Here's a sales discount. I'm going to put $300 in as a credit for this customer. In order to process this approval, I'm going to go to request approval, send the approval request. The approval request has gone out. We can take a look at that approval request here. Look at the approvals. We can see it's from David and it's going to Alicia. That's exactly what we want. I'm logged in as Alicia. This is her role center. We can look at request to approve. She's got one. Here's a credit memo right here. We can look at the document by opening the record. Alicia can see everything about this document. If there are attachments or other information about the sales credit memo, we could see it here. And Alicia's fine with this, so she's gonna go ahead and approve it. And that's the process. And let's take a look at the workflow for sales credit memos. Here's a sales credit memo right here. Let's take a look at that. We'll open it up. We can look at the approvals here. I'll click on this, go to this item here, we can see that for this workflow, we're going to use the user approval matrix to find out who needs to approve this. So let's take a look at that. Here's a user approval setup. and You can see that David has a limit of $150 for sales activity. His direct approver is Alicia. Alicia's limit is $1,000. So the credit memo that we just processed was within her limit. She received the request to approve it and approved it, and now that transaction is ready to post. Let's take a look at one more workflow within Dynamics 365 Business Central, and that's for sales return orders. In this scenario, Alan's going to enter the sales return, and the sales return before it can be posted has to be approved both by Alicia and Jacob. There's no dollar amount on this. It just needs the approval of these two individuals. So let's get started. I'm logged in as Alan. Let's create a new sales order return. We can look up a customer here. We'll select this customer. And then we'll also look at posted invoices to make sure that we get the correct invoice to associate with this return. So go to prepare, get the posted documents. These are all the documents. You can see posted shipments, posted invoices, and these are the invoices for this particular customer. And what I want to do is I want to select this one here. 
It's a rather large return, so I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that Business Central references the prior invoice and then puts the return line right below it. Here's the amount of the return. That's exactly what Alan wanted, so he's going to request approval on this. The approval's been sent, and we can look at the approvals that were just generated, and we can see that there's two of them, one for the admin person and one for Alicia, and there's no order associated with it. Either one of them can approve it first, but both of them have to approve it before this transaction is ready to post. So let's take a look at that. This request shows up both in the admin person's role center and also Alicia's at the same time. Let's take a look at Alicia. I'm logged in as Alicia. This is her role center. She's got one request to approve. It's a sales order we just entered. She can open it up or just go ahead and approve it. It's now been approved and that sales return is now ready to post. Here's the workflow for the sales order return. Let's look at the approval on that. Here's the approval, and this is a little different. We're using a workflow user group. This is outside of the user approval matrix. This is just a workflow user group. I've set this up. You can see I've got a couple here, but I'm using the sales ops. Let's take a look at that. Here's my workflow user groups. For this demonstration, we use sales ops on the sales return. You can see that those two individuals that needed to approve that document before it could be posted. I had no particular sequence in mind. I had them all at the same level. That means that both of them had to approve it and they can approve it in any order that they wanted to. So this was a demonstration in which I showed you three different workflows in Dynamics 365 Business Central, three that might be used in sales operations. We looked at the customer credit limit, the sales credit memo, and the sales return order approvals. Thank you.